But if I can toggle these sketches and you see the first sketch and the second sketch, I think. We draw him to the best of our knowledge. So right away, there is one thing that I see in here is that there's a little bit of perspective here close to the window where he is. Uh, is a little thinner and is twisted. He's kind of... So when I see where the shoulder is on this, his left shoulder is, is kind of twisted. So this one goes into his neck and he has this line of action. So if I say this is the head right here, he has this line of action you know, that goes from his neck right into his butt. And if I were to draw a box here, I'll draw a box that is tilted like this and bring it over here and bring it down here. This is a little too much. Give him kind of a white butt over there. I'm going to cut that off. Uh, but I'm trying to draw a box to show his hip kind of set up here. It's kind of twisted, kind of like this, you know? I think the box would be kind of like this if I was to draw his hip. And his torso uh, is a lot twisted. So he has kind of like two, three boxes in here. But I'm going to draw this one to come down here into his hip and this one to come down here where he's kind of twisting it into his leg. And I'm going to give it some of this and I'm going to give it some of this kind of twist like that. And of course, I'm going to give him the back of the head to be on this side and he's twisting it looking on this other side throughout the window. So the head is going to be kind of like this box so I'm marking him off into boxes this is gonna be his uh, it's gonna be his uh, this is gonna be his collar area and this hand is foreshortened it's very very small here is his fingers and this is gonna go into his elbow here and this other hand, which is stretched out, is going to be coming off of around here. So now I have to draw lines that are going into his butt. And this one that is going into his butt on this side. But this is the one where the hand is going to start from. And kind of go up this way. Now I need a line to align up his elbows, which is giving me something of these vibes here and uh bring it onto his thigh where it's gonna meet his thigh so i'm gonna twist it to everything is twisted and this is a good thing with line of action it's gonna give you challenges it's gonna make you think about what you're drawing before you draw it and uh that's one thing i like about it i used to draw a lot with it when i was still in school but as i said before in the first video I haven't been drawing in a long time. So this is all trying to play catch up while I'm trying to bring you guys on board so we can do this together because it's supposed to be a commitment. It's supposed to be a commitment. Uh, and you guys need to help me out. Mm -hmm. And let's do this. All right. So this one goes from his hand onto his leg here which goes in and comes over here like this. So there's a little bit of foreshortening here into his foot. So I'm going to first kind of start of kind of marking off a few things here. And this knee kind of has a line to it like that that brings it further into the foot and the foot rounds off like that. And underneath here is where we have the other foot which moves from where kind of the butt is and goes into this leg here so this comes to show me that i'm a little bit off here and i need to work on that because this heel is supposed to be into this foot and this leg is supposed to be rounding off in here all right and we see a lot of darkness here hiding the other leg but we see this part of his butt 
going and you have to look at for the negative space in between here uh, it will give you the best proportions so we're rounding off our box now to make his butt on this other side and this line is pretty much kind of straightish but it goes over like this and so you can see we are starting to mark him up and I don't like a couple of things in here. For example, where I put this line of action seems to be a little bit off. So I want to have it around here as it goes right into his bark. And this is going to be a little bit up here. Putting a little shadow. This butt is casting a shadow on this other side of his butt cheek. And this is coming in here. Foldings foldings and uh you know uh hands twisted into each other and this is coming in here looks a little bit long on my end but i'll go with it for now i'll go with it for now and put that line there just to show where he's holding and round off this box up here to make a little bit of his head and right into his neck so that's one other thing we didn't leave enough space for the neck not too much that is enough right there as it goes into this shoulder blade here and kind of rounding off into his elbow with the back of the shoulder blade shown up here and kind of so you have to look at the negative space in here as well even though this is twisted on this side into his shoulder blade. And I'm going to mark off this area here. And of course I see a very, very huge mistake, which is supposed to be this going into this hand over here. I'm going to have to move his hand over by a lot I'm gonna have to move his hand over by a lot bring it up here into his elbow and of course ground his fingers here onto this line to mark off the window seal that he's touching his head is too big come on Simeon his head is too big already you should be able to say such things to yourself. You're the best critic to yourself. And when you see a mistake trying to correct it, actually saying it out loud is good. And it helps. It helps you, you know, uh, correct your mistakes. And there we go again with digital drawing being better. Not better, being convenient and easier to move things around than it would be in uh, pencil and paper all right so his chin comes in from around here and his eye going into his forehead forehead cutting off this around his back of the head so when I moved that up a little bit, it actually gave me a little bit of room to create his neck. And I like what, I've, what I have here. So what's going to happen with this is I'm going to need to add a few things here. But I'm going to go ahead and knock this down a little bit. So, which means we it's time to create a new layer. It's time to knock this one. Woo! That was crazy. I took it all the way to zero. I'm going to leave that over there. I'm going to go back to my layer, the new layer that I want to create the newest sketch on. And... I have about 20 minutes left on that one. And so I'm going to go ahead and start a new sketch now. 
on the new um on the new layer that i just created it looks kind of puny down here compared to the size of this so i'm gonna put that into consideration now in the newest sketch and this time i'm gonna try to show a little bit more detail and shaving off a few things shaving off a few things that i want to be off while i show uh, up others that i want to show up for example this ear here and this side over here going into his collar area i'm looking at his hair as a one big volume and of course cutting his face off a little tiny bit it's not too much but it actually makes a little bit of sense to me and of course there's this little bit of muscle here that drives into his shoulder this one is up a little bit goes into his upper arm now a little bit of anatomy and physiology <laughs> a little bit of anatomy and physiology a little bit of anatomy goes into play as we see the back of his palm here so this is a little bit uh, big up top here and grows a little bit thinner as it goes into his elbow and I get some cutting it off over here to create his forehand and that's cute that's not very bad And so we can start drawing his torso now. Bring a little bit into his hip area. And cut off his left butt cheek. This right here gives you a little bit of this muscle here. And this happens to me all the time. I don't know if it happens to you guys, but sometimes when I just want to show a line, when I just want to show volume, some of the things I can't show with the line, I just have to shed it in a little bit to show volume. Uh, I don't know if it happens to you guys. If it happens to you, let me know in the comment section below. This is why next time when we're drawing, or after we develop this, guys, and we're drawing all live together, we can talk about these things and... We're going to figure out a way of doing audio so we can be able to hear each other and talk about these things while we draw. I'm just going to shed in a little bit here just to show a little bit of volume on this side, which is kind of dark from the lighting on the window. And that goes into his back a little bit. And there's a little bit of a line to show off the shoulder blade that brings us into the back of his back. Brings us into the back of his back. All the way into his butt area that I'm going to shed here. And put a little bit of a line to indicate where his right cheek, butt cheek starts. Into his leg. Shed it here a little bit. And so when you're creating your sketch and it's 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 going to be fully developed, putting in these kind of, you know, sheddings actually gives you a very, very good monumental uh, start to your shedding to know where you're going to be putting the, your lights and where you're going to be putting your, your ducks when you're shedding. So this is going to go into his neck here a little bit like this. I'm not sure where this line is supposed to be. So I'm going to just put a, a few dabbings there. I'll come back to it after looking at, at it as a whole. And this is going to go into his shoulder here that is stretching out. 
And this muscle here in the upper arm bulges out a little bit into his elbow. Elbow's tucked in a little bit. And there's a way this hand is kind of twisted, not giving me a very, very good um, show off there. But I'm just going to put a little bit of line there to indicate it. He's not very muscular, but he has a little bit of this going on here. And this bulging up a little bit here. And I, I don't want to pronounce it that much. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm going to just indicate it a little bit. And give him a little bit of this going into the forearm. And a little bit of shading here. Just to carve that off. Uh, and show a little bit of anatomy there. And so up here in the uh, shoulder blade, we have a little bit of kind of a negative space here that I don't understand how to indicate fully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and give him this to be the opposite of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and give him that with a few dabbings over there to bring this in. And this to show where his hips kind of area starts from. I'm going to kind of close this off. And bring this in here like this. And so this is starting to round off really nice here. Into his hip area. Especially because I indicated this, like where his breast area is supposed to be on the other side. But we're looking at it from the back, of course. Uh, a little bit of layers there. And overlapping. Overlapping is the word that I'm trying to look for. Uh, into his kind of lumbar area. And this is interesting like this. This seems to be his uh, hip bone kind of sticking out and it has a little bit of shading onto it here to give it a little bit of volume and right into his right cheek but now i over pronounced that right there but i'm gonna leave it pronounced like that and go into whoa what happened there my pencil grew all the way giganto that's not what i wanted there but I want this to be a little bit dark here into the hand. Mm -hmm. While I shave up off where the leg is supposed to be. So this guy is kind of weirdly twisted. And he's not a muscular guy. But for some reason it shows off as if he has a lot of muscles. Into the knee area here. Where I want to carve this off. Now foreshortening, foreshortening, foreshortening. Foreshortening is my biggest, biggest enemy. And if you follow my artwork, you've seen that I try my little burst and I think about it. But it just kicks my ass all the time. I'm going to bring this in here. Yeah, foreshortening is exactly what I'm talking about there. But actually, that's not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and indicate his foot here. Shave that off a little bit into his kind of big toe and bring this down here to cover it up into his heel everything on him is twisted mr twisty here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna indicate a little bit of darkness here to ground him already and so this is the next layer that we're creating this sketch on but i already like it i already like it and uh i'm gonna shade this off a little bit here to go into his uh big toe we will of course have other sessions where we're drawing specific things like drawing the feet and uh drawing the hands which are also something else. I've been practicing them though a little bit. So 
I should be good. Even though I haven't drawn in a long while, but I've been kind of practicing those, I should be good. Um, always practice, practice, practice. And this negative space, I'm going to indicate it by shadow. Going into the shadows. I'm going to indicate it with shadow over there. And bring it in onto this other side. Where he's holding himself onto the windowsill. I'm not fussing about anything else but his structure for now. Maybe in future sessions we could be able to uh, uh, draw up a couple of their surroundings and, and, and all that stuff. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring in some white here because I know I have about eight minutes left. And I'm going to make my pencil big because now I'm doing a little bit of shading here to show a couple of things that have... A little bit of light to them. Just developing the sketch, making it a little a little more palatable, a little more interesting. And and so this is why I always draw on a kind of a newsprint kind of paper, gray paper, because I love indicating these highlights in my work, in my sketches. It gives it a little bit of depth to it. Which is kind of nice in those lit areas. In those lit areas. And so I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to indicate a little bit of light on his hair. I look at the hair as one big volume. Always. Now this looks wonky right here. I'll tell you straight up, this looks wonky to me. Uh, I don't know how I, or what I can do to fix it. But it looks like his hand is really, really wonky. And I don't like it. But it's good for the 30 minutes drawing. So I'm going to leave it like that. Oops. And I'm going to indicate a little bit of light here on his butt. Butt cheek. A little bit of light here. Just not too much, just a little bit. A little bit of light on his face. Um, and let me bring in a little bit of darks too. A little bit of the dark color just to add a little bit of uh, value to this sketch. You know? And you see the boxes we started off showing um, to give us a little bit of how he's set up actually worked. And so... I usually get a question, how do you even start drawing? Where do you know where to mark and all that stuff? And that's one of the secrets right there. Draw boxes to indicate the twists and turns. And really the message you want to convey here. And so I can paint even outside uh, the character himself, like right there, in order for me to, you know, communicate a deeper message here, showing that he's not floating in space, but rather he's grounded and, uh, you know, he's a human being. Now, I don't like this at all. This hand here, I don't like that at all. But I'm going to leave it the way it is. No time to correct it. And it's actually a very good thing if you can see that in your work. Things that you don't like. Of course, 
If you want to have solutions to a problem, you have to know where the problem is, first of all. And that's the number one place you want to be in to be able to critique your own work. And so that's our other 30 minutes, you know, drawing. Uh, I did two drawings in this session. And I think I'm going to be breaking up this video to be um, 30 minutes, 30 minutes video, a full hour video. I may not be posting that. But if you want, you can just watch the first one and then you watch the second one. This is going to be the second one. I'm going to leave links back to back for both of them so you can see exactly um, um, what you want in case you want to. And I'm going to go ahead and indicate the time on these. So this is 30 minutes. And I'm going to indicate the time on the first sketch that we did as well as 30 minutes. Oops, sorry, that's hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is 30 minutes. Oops, can't seem to be having ink. 30 minutes. And so you can see the difference already. If I merge this, because I don't think I'm going to use this again. If I merge this, and if I merge this, and I, you can see the difference from the first sketch already in this first session. You can see this is a first sketch. If I toggle and bring back on, whoops, something happened there that I don't seem to understand exactly what happened. Undo merging. Because it seemed to be losing my sketches over there. But if I can toggle these sketches and you see the first sketch and the second sketch, I think there is actually an improvement, especially due to the fact that the first sketch is a lot straight up and easier. And the second sketch is a little bit harder. And I managed to get a little bit more detail in there. All right. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you haven't subscribed as usual, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And let me know if you're an artist or if you're just an enthusiast. Because we're going to be doing this more often. And I hope to see you on the inside. Thank you so much for watching. And bye-bye for now.